Breaking news. A leaked phone call reveals the same snipers were shooting at both protesters and police in Kiev. RT's Marina Kossera joins us now live with more on this. Well, Marina, do tell us where we know this from and who was behind those snipers then. Absolutely. Well, all this information is in fact becoming public after a phone conversation was leaked and is now accessible to everyone who wants to listen in and it is on YouTube. And that conversation, in fact, is between the EU Foreign Chief Catherine Ashton and also we have the Estonian Foreign Affairs Minister. And Catherine Ashton in that uh, phone conversation is in fact asking him about his impressions of Ukraine where he just returned from and he said the picture is looking sad and more importantly, and it's quite an eye Opener. This one is the fact that snipers were, as you said, Marina, were well, shooting both at protesters and officials, both sides, really. So let's listen in to what he had to say. All the evidence shows uh, that people who were killed by snipers from both sides, among policemen and, and people from the streets, that they were the same snipers killing people from both sides. Well, that's, yeah. So that, and then she also showed me some photos. Uh, she said that has medical doctor. She can, you know, say that it is the same, same handwriting, the same type of bullets. And it's really disturbing that now the new, uh, new coalition that they don't want to investigate what exactly happened. So that there is now stronger and stronger understanding that behind snipers they were. It was not Yanukovych, but it was somebody from the new coalition. This is what is actually quite surprising here for the Estonian foreign minister to say here, because if it is not Yanukovych behind this, which no one ever said that he was from day one, but if it is the newly formed a government there in Ukraine, that means that the opposition all along were planning this and they were in fact trying to destabilize the situation in Ukraine. And it seems that they've pretty much achieved in doing so. But the real question now is, because as I said, this really changes everything. How how will the West and Europe, in fact, react to these revelations? Well, in indeed, Marina, as you just said earlier, this sounds like a real eye opener for a lot of people, specifically for Ashton in that particular conversation. But uh, what does this mean for the EU? What sort of consequences can we expect? Well, we have heard all along that pretty much the Western media, uh, Europe included, also have been saying that the opposition there, they're sort of been portraying them as a freedom fighters and ignoring other people who were saying that in fact some of these activists are former criminals or prisoners and they're looking out to promote their own agendas in some case very uh, nationalistic radical we've been saying this for a number of days here here on RT now this goes to show that perhaps the EU doesn't know doesn't have the full picture and this is just the beginning of something that could continue unraveling and blow up in their faces all right, Marina, thank you so much for bringing us this update. And of course, we will be getting more analysis of this uh, break news uh, here on RT International. And